Okay, I'm still in the in the little town of Kale, which I love because it's right on the Rhine and it's got a beautiful view of the river and it's uh, got the big bridge over it and I've been here for some years now I come here for some months or on and off for some days uh, and uh, there's a market in the street uh, on Fridays uh, uh, and I think on weekdays as well uh, and um, so today I'm really inspired because uh, I mean tomorrow is going to be uh, the Pentecost and um, you know it's a uh, Catholic uh, um, mostly uh, Catholic uh, do um, but I think I'm going to talk about this because uh, I mean not about the Pentecost but you know I'm just going to introduce some films uh, 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 that I love uh, one another film that I really like is um, is called um, uh, <laughs> Il Novecento that is uh, the film 1900 and it's by uh, Ber Bernardo Bert Bertolucci and this is the um, what it shows on uh, uh, the Wikipedia um, so I'm going to read you a little bit about um, the film um, Bernardo Bertolucci is a, a film director uh, which made other big epic films, you know, really uh, uh, complicated ones. This one, uh, 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 this film is about Italy um, right bef um, you know, before it became uh, modern, let's say. And um, A lot of uh, uh, a lot of changes happened, um, so it's about it's a long film. It's uh, about uh, 317 minutes, and uh, um, it, it's very dramatic. Um, released in many countries, uh, it is um, about uh, Italy uh, uh, after. Uh, um, the uh, after uh, um, 1945, the day Italy is rib liberated from the fascists. Uh, but it shows also the, the, the story of life before fascism uh, was, you know, finished. The, the pe but it, this is about Emilia Romagna. The peasants uh, on the estate uh, are shown attempting to join the partisans and uh, place the owner of the estate, Alfer Alfredo Berlinghieri, under ar arrest. A middle-aged man named Attila, Attila um, and a woman named Regina are seen, are seen attempting to flee the farm but are attacked by women laborers wielding pitchforks. So it's about uh, communists and the fascists. Um, uh, the, the narrative moves back to the start of the century, both born on the day of the death of the compuse, uh, composer Giuseppe Verdi. Uh, the, 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 the main actors are Robert De Niro and uh, the, fr a very friend, the very famous French actor who, be, who has a Russian passport nowadays. Uh, um, uh, um, they are both uh, young, uh, but from two different classes. Uh, Robert De Niro is the o o landowner, um, and um, his friend is, uh, you know, uh, 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 Olmo Dalco. Uh, comes from the opposite ends of the social spectrum. Alfredo is from a wealthy family of landowners, led by his popular grandfather, also called Alfredo, uh, and grows up uh, with his cousin, Regina. Um, uh, and um, so anyway, it shows the, the, the story. Um, um, And uh, uh, it's uh, about the um, the 
a story of these two families uh, um, and they are raised, Olmo uh, is raised as a socialist um, and the two friends go through their childhood despite the social differences of their families and spend much time in one another's, other's company. So uh, then there's the, um, uh, there's the uh, First World War uh, and Olmo goes off to fight while Alfredo uh, learns how to run the family business. And um, this is the story, it's very European, I think, because this is what happen, has happened also here, it is if, even, this is, even if this is Kiel in Germany, but I think this uh, has a similar history all over Europe. Um, because if you uh, think of it, you know, the, the, um, uh, the history of Europe is m very similar in, uh, uh, during the uh, First World War. And uh, then everything changes in the Second World War. Uh, so uh, um, the, uh, it is about uh, when the socialists uh, uh, come in and communists uh, take over uh, from the landowners. Um, so um, it's a very complex story. As I said, it's a very f a long film. And um, it's all about how Italy entered the a modern era after 1945 uh, when the socialists take over and um, mm, the landowners are um, um, become a part of history um, and have le much less power.